Hello there, so you're here for your hearing test and examination. To start with providing your name please. And your date of birth. Okay, a couple of questions. Any history of hearing loss in either ear? Any history of ear infections? And has there ever been any injury to your ears or any event that caused damage to either ear? Okay, I'm going to start off by having a little feel of your ears at the same time, like so. I'm going to have a feel of the helix, the lobule, and the tragus there. Okay, your job is to tell me as I'm moving along if you feel any pain or discomfort and then where that pain or discomfort is located. Okay. I'll start at the top on the helix. Moving down to the lobule. And then just the trigus. A little bit of contact. Okay. Any pain or discomfort there? Discomfort. Either yeah. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move on to what's called a whisper test. So just cover your right ear, like so, so that you don't hear any sound. I'm going to come on this side and just whisper some phrases. Just tell me what you think you've heard. Just repeat. Okay. Let's come here. Okay, let's begin. Mastoid, perennial, larynx, palpebra, 66, an isochoria, dendritic ulcer, stromal, a pixaban, Ophthalmoscope, vitrectomy, frequency, tympanic membrane, helix. Good. Okay, now just cover the, the other one for me. I'm going to come on the other side. And again, just repeat the phrases. You think you hear? Helix, tympanic membrane, frequency, vitrectomy, ophthalmoscope, apixaban, stromal, dendritic ulcer, anisocoria, 66, palpebra, larynx, perennial, mastoid. Good work there. That's 14 phrases. Perfect score on each side there. So next I'm going to set up the uh, otoscope. I'm going to have a look inside the external zones the, uh, through the auditory canal 
and then through to the tympanic membrane, also known as your eardrum. to be working fine okay I'm going to start on this side so if you just turn that way ever so slightly there's going to be no pain so we'll just gently enter the auditory canal but as I say I'm not going to go too far back I'll be able to see all I need to see okay so if you just hear me whispering it's just me thinking out loud just uh, making some verbal notes. Okay, so external areas. Clear. Okay. It's grade zero. Wax. And those external parts. Okay, just into the ear canal there. We're just checking the level of wax. Scarring, inflammation, and then through to the tympanic membrane, looking for any perforations and for any deposits. Okay, that's looking clear. Okay, just relax. I'm going to have a look on the other side now, at the other ear. So just turn this way for me, please. Okay, I'm just checking the external areas again. That's looking fine. Okay, and just through the auditory canal. The level of wax is looking fine. No signs of any inflammation superior or inferior areas of the canal there. There's a good level of wax. The discharge is negative. Tympanic membrane looking clear. No signs of perforations or an abnormal amount of deposits. Lovely. So inside the ears are looking fine. Just going to make some notes there. move on to the hearing portion of the examination. We're going to just do some grouse hearing checks using the sound of wood against wood. Just very quickly close the two eyes and tell me whether you hear the sound on your right or left side. Okay. Excellent start. Okay, so to further check the hearing, we're going to be using the aluminium tuning fork set here. It's 
let's have a little look inside, see what we've got. Okay, we're going to be using three specific types of tuning fork. This one, this one, and this one. So the C denotes the note the tuning fork is going to be making and the number represents the frequency of the sound. Let's get those out of the case. start with our higher frequency tuning fork here and I'm going to ring it place it on the forehead just tell me whether you hear the sound more in the right or left ear or equal okay frequency tuning fork now, now to see. Good. That's fine. So that's the Weber test. those frequencies so we have 2048 1024 Hertz 512 Hertz note C equal uh, E is picking them up equally on either side so that appears normal okay we're going to continue with the tuning forks we'll start with the highest frequency this time I'm going to place it on the mastoid bone behind the ear. I want you to tell me when you stop here the ringing. Okay. Start with this side. Do you hear it now? And for the other side. hear it now. Excellent. 1024 hertz tuning fork now. Tell me when you stop hearing the sound. And do you hear it now? And for the final test, we have the low frequency, 512 hertz there. Okay. The mastoid bone. Don't want you to stop hearing it. And you hear it now. Good. Once more. Do you hear it now? Excellent, so we're around 8 to 10 seconds. Using the ring test. Same frequencies, 2048 hertz, 1024 hertz, 512 hertz, 8 to 12 seconds. Right and left ear. Falling into the medium to normal category there. Lovely. Okay, so it looks like that's your hearing test completed. A good set of results there. Do you have any further questions? Okay, I'll sign this off. Today's date.
Okay, you might want to book another hearing test in two years' time. Bye for now.